Hi everybody, hope you're all well. Uh, today I am making Smiddy Dumpling. <laughs> if, ever, if any of you have heard of this, uh, let me know in the comments. It's actually quite bright, I've got the sun, sun's right there. Um, if any of you have made Smiddy Pudding, Smiddy Pudding, Smiddy Dumpling, and I don't really know what Smiddy means. I have tried to look it up, but it keeps pulling up the word Smithy or Blacksmith, but uh, yeah, it's, but it's from this. Ricky, you might recognise this Moir Brun's um, cookery book. I absolutely love this book. It's so brilliant. I mean, it's just, can you see? It's like having, literally having your grand's um, cookery book. It's really well laid out and it's all related to the uh, the Brun's, which is a Scottish um, annual. It used to be in the, well, it was was in the Sunday Post. But that was on a sort of weekly basis. And then they started do, doing... Uh, Christmas annuals which is what I used to get every Christmas from my dad um, and I absolutely love them but I didn't know um, that they did a, a cookbook um, this is some of my own collection <laughs> uh, this is the oldest one I've actually got uh, 1979 oh yeah I love the smell of an old book but they're, they're they were sort of cartoony type things of following the family of the, Bra the Browns or the Bruns um, and they're kind of antics, brilliant, brilliant stuff, honestly. You don't have to be Scottish to appreciate it, and it's actually written in a Dundee dialect. Um, they're great, they really are. Um, and I've, I will never, these are my childhood ones. <laughs> so, Ricky, when you sent me this, you know full well that I was stoked beyond belief to get it. And it actually has some really brilliant recipes, one of which is stovies, and I'm definitely going to be um, doing those. Um, except um, out at the sausages because <laughs> we my dad used to make them with sausages so anyway let's get cracking and make this smitty dumpling it's quite it's kind of like a fruit cake um, so um, it, I'm excited to try it in fact let's get the recipe up it's so you see it's in here that's that's the smitty dumpling um, it does need it says it needs one and a half hours on in an oven so we're gonna sort of wing it and see what happens in the air fryers. I will be cooking it in the uh, Kasuri oven, 12 litre. I'm loving the window on that. Uh, and also cooking it in the Ninja, because uh, uh, I'll have enough multiple tins. Um, and I was wondering, did have any of you spotted the um, Ninja, the new Ninja air fryer where it's stacked on top of each other, like two drawers? I mean, fantastic for space saving, you know, to, for worktops saving space and it looks really nifty and i think carol longmore and jacqueline Buse, she sent me an email with the link to it because you were you know you, it was you two that alerted me to it and it does, does look really swish uh, but like um i think uh, jacqueline you said why don't they put a flipping window into ninja do they do they do that I, I, has yet with a brand new innovated um air fryer Put a, a put a glass viewing window in, in it. I mean, it's so cool to be able to see it cook without having to open the drawer. Anywho, um, that's one of the reasons why I'm really loving the, the Kasuri 12 litre oven is to be able to just look in, um, turn the light on and you can see it's fantastic. But we will be cooking in both air fryers just to see, to compare results, uh, etc. So let's go and have a look at the ingredients. Um, uh, yeah, and crack on cooking. See you in a bit. So um, the ingredients list will float up here, but I'd, it all came to me, and I'll just show you quickly, cups, two cups. And I'm, I'm not used to using cup measurements, but basically this uh, is 240 mil or 240 grams up to that point there. Um, it, but I like the simplicity of using cup measurements. I wonder if anyone has, um, where you can get standard, standard size, oh my Lord. Uh, ways of measuring because cups do vary in their size but apparently if you stick to the one cup and obviously up to the same level then you don't go wrong in fact, let's turn that light on that might be a bit better um so yeah it's a mixture of plain flour and self-raising flour the recipe actually said um uh, one teaspoon of baking soda but if you didn't have baking soda i'd i'd read up that three teaspoons of baking powder to replace the soda is um is fine so that's exactly what i've done so i'm going to boil the fruit 
Oh, and the carrots, grated carrots is actually an optional extra. It wasn't listed on this one. However, I, I had, did a, a sort of online check for the smoothie dumpling recipe and some people add grated carrot, which I've fancied. I also didn't have butter, but I'm gonna have margarine. Mixed spice, two eggs that need to be beaten. Let's get this cooking um, in a pan on my induction hob. And you probably notice I don't have gas in this house, um, but I have tried to use this because I thought, oh, will it be as quick as my uh, stat, you know, induction hob that I would stick on top of it that I had in the old house? It's really slow. <laughs> so I'm gonna carry on using my, my portable um, induction hob because it's so quick to come to boil. Um, I might time it one of these days. If you're interested in seeing the comparison of this and my other induction hob, um, in terms of how quick each one comes to boil up. Let me know if, you, if you're interested in seeing that. I could do a, a short or something about that. Anyway, let's get this cooking uh, and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, I'm just gonna add the sultanas. I think mixed fruit would be absolutely fine with this as well. It just said sugar in the recipe, so I'm just going with white, but I reckon light brown sugar would probably be, um, would work just as well. Um, this is granulated sugar as well. Carrots, marge or butter, depending on what you've got in stock, I'm sure the marge will be fine. The mixed spice, I did go a bit large with the mixed spice because I really like it, want it to, um, you know, be tasty. Um, and water, one cup of water. Right, let's turn this baby on. Just gonna let it start to bubble, it won't, it won't be long. It's starting to bubble. Well, it's less than a minute and it's starting to bubble. That's pretty cool. Let's just mix these ingredients in. Okay, um, the recipe said to boil for two minutes, so I've done that. Now I'm going to leave it to completely cool before adding the flour uh, mixtures and the beaten egg. So I will see you in a bit. Right, it's completely cool. While it was cooling, I was actually at the bottom of my garden where I've got a little allotment patch. Um, and for anyone who watches Plot 25, that, that's going to be a, like a home allotment once a week thing. So it's just down the bottom of the garden. I'll see if you can see it it's a lovely day today yeah so I was doing some work while it, the uh, smitty dumpling was cooling so I'm going to add the flour now um, and the eggs the beat, beaten eggs uh, and then we're going to get them in the pans and then get them in their air fryers yeah let's get started well right, I'm going to add the self-raising flour the plain flour and the baking powder before I add the egg I'm kind of fold it in really so it's well combined and then I'm going to add the egg. I tell you what it absolutely smells beautiful it really does. Right, let's add the egg. Two eggs, even. Okay, I think that's nicely mixed, so we're gonna add them to the pans. I've got the two round ones, um, and I've also got a spare two pound tin that I'm gonna add. Um, in cake, because I think there's quite a lot, to be fair. Alright, so I 
So it's, the recipe says cook for one and a half hours at 150 centigrade or 300 Fahrenheit. Um, this is obviously for an oven. So um, I'm thinking 140, 280 at one hour, t looking at it in one hour, testing the temperature of the cake. It should hit 90 degrees um, and see where we are. If we have to add minutes, we will. It's that conversion. We've just got to try and convert it successfully. Apparently, this type of cake does need a long time in an oven, so it wouldn't be less than an hour, which is fine. That's what uh, we're going to go for. So let's get the... Where are we? Uh, bake. What did I say? Oh, no, that's the minutes. 140 for an hour. Oh, does it work if you press it? Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna let that preheat and then we're gonna do the same here. Match, oh, where are we? Bake, 140, that's 280 Fahrenheit. Oh, for an hour, oh, uh, five minutes. Let, let the five minutes run because we're gonna be preheating the Ninja as well. So when that's preheated, I'll be back. Uh, so I'll see you in a tick. Okay, it's telling me to add food. Let's quickly get this this one in. Lovely. Right, let's quickly try and it's difficult to try and be quick with these, but we will do our best. fingers it goes fine we, we shall see at the end so I'll, I'll see you in a bit okay um, I want to check um, the ninja especially because it does have a tendency to be a bit faster than the kasori Ooh. <laughs> oh look oh I just need to check its internal temperature um, it's looking fine though it really is let's have a quick it's got to hit 90 which I think it's going to do. Oh yes. Well, I mean that's fifty. What was that? Forty-five minutes. Yeah, that's ready in forty-five minutes. Well, let's get this out. I'll let, I'll let it cool in the um, tea uh, before it's sort of extracting. Let's get the other one out. I'm just, I'm not going to bother testing the temperature of the other one. It, oops. It will be the same. Oh, hello. It might be worth checking the um, Kasori one. Oops. Cups in the way. Rosie asking to be let out, so. Oh well, again, 45 minutes. All right, Rosie, all right, all right. Um, I've got to get this one out, so let's just get the. Nice. Well, two are going to be for the freezer, uh, and one is for today. So I'm really pleased with that. That's 45 minutes for both. That's absolutely brilliant. Other air fry brands, very similar timings. Um, I'm just, it's good to demonstrate that a Kasori one and a Ninja one, that's with the fan heating coming from the top. This has um, a dual, it has a heating bot elements at the bottom as well as the top. But if you didn't have a Kasori or a, or a Ninja, other air fryer brands would do the job as well. Right, let's let, leave these to cool in the tins and I'm going to take them out to cool further where we'll be taste testing one, freezing the other two uh, with a nice cup of tea. See you in a bit. Right, well, we're back. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, they turned out great. I'm really pleased, really pleased. Um, so I'm going to cut a slice, I think, out of this one. These two I'm going to freeze. Uh, 45 minutes, that's really good. I mean, considering the recipe said an hour and a half, um, 
in the an oven, as it were. I'm just going to cut a slice. Oh, let's have a look at this. Oh, this looks good. Do you know the, the, the grated carrot is actually does work? Mmm. Oh, yes. That looks great. That really does. Tell you what, it smells delicious. Absolutely does. This would really work with um, a little bit of custard. I definitely have this as a pudding, you know. I, th I, th I don't think you, what would you eat? What would, yeah, I mean, is it like, I'm gonna put a bit of margarine because the online recipe suggested that. It's a bit like a tea cake. I don't know, but I'm just going with what they said. <laughs> um, but what would you have this with? I mean, it's uh, definitely custard would really work. Oh, I'll have a go. Mmm. Oh, my God. Oh. I've got a cup of tea to go with it. I think that's a must. Cheers, everybody. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, that's washed out. Oh, this is lovely. It doesn't taste like tea bread, um, which I have made before. It doesn't obviously have tea in it, but... Oh, it tastes delicious. It tastes like a really, really mild uh, fruit cake. Mmm. It's not heavy at all. It's really light and fluffy. And um, lovely crunch on the um, crust. <laughs> oh, right, I'm gonna carry on eating that with my cup of tea. Um, boys are waiting in the wings for a slice as well. That's really lovely, definitely freeze. I had some really good news um, actually. Of, if, if any one of you know, I've got an Austin 1100 Princess currently stored in a garage in town. Oh, it's a bit chilly in here, but it's coming home <laughs> tomorrow, which is really great because I am starting a third channel. It's completely, I don't know how it's going to go because we've got no experience, but we're going to try and restore it. The beautiful thing about these types of cars is they're really simplistic to a certain degree. I mean, it has, you know, they're beautiful cars, but they're, they're you know, if you don't have to have experience, I, I hope not anyway. So... I will put a link in the description to that channel, um, also to my other channel, Pot25, which is the allotment one. So not today was the home garden um, allotment, which will be featured on that, which was fun. Um, so yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Oh, really nice. Take care. Bye.